G'day guys and girls, Kieran and French here, back with another Live Chats with Friends. It's been a while, I uh, haven't really been having the chance to be able to get in contact with friends and family members, you know, just trying to get these chats rolling, seeing you on with them. Uh, life has been somewhat busy and that's what happens with, yeah, everyday life. Um, I could give you a quick rundown what's going on and who's on for tonight. So my name's Kieran, I'm from Melbourne, Australia and I do a thing called Chats with Friends. Uh, it's all about talking about mental health asking the person that we follow or we like to follow um, how they're actually doing instead of the normal everyday questions that they probably get. And then we go into some niche style questions and how they got into their niche. Um, so far, we've had a couple of pretty cool people on. We've had YouTubers, photographers. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, the Murray. Yep. We've had um, YouTubers, photographers, um, mountain bike riders, four-wheel drivers, and that's what I am. I'm a small content creator from Australia. And yeah, just reaching out to cool content creators over the platform of content creating, um, just to see how they are. They're the people that I like to follow. They're the people that I think um, are worth to just to have a chat to. And, and you guys can sort of jump on board and ask some questions and whatever else you may want to ask the person we're chatting to. So tonight, I'm talking to Marley. And uh, they up front, yeah, hey dude, hey guys. Yeah, we're talking to Marley tonight, and um, he's a content creator I've been following on TikTok, and actually is a part of the NFT creator side. That's how I actually met him. Um, yeah, the little NFT thing we got going on, little projects, and yeah, we just thought, why not have a chat, um, see how he is, what's been going, and what how he keeps motivated, and then why and how he started his TikTok. He's um, he's blowing up on TikTok, and it's his videos are so funny; they keep me entertained all the time. So um, that's what's on for tonight. As for me. Um, slaving away, working hard, uh, trying to save some money, uh, finish some renovations on the house and uh, just been doing some traveling with the car here and there whenever I can every weekend. Um, just waiting on some stuff for my shed so I can put my hoist in and then hopefully, hopefully I can get some stuff done to my patrol. Um, that's a main thing on my list of stuff I need to do. But yeah, let's jump straight into this chat. I'm going to send Marley a request and we're going to jump and say how, see how he is and what's been going on and all that fun stuff. So if you guys have any questions and want to ask me or Marley or just in general um, something to talk about, we're more than happy to answer them. So that's what this is This is all about. I'm trying to normalize chats about life, um, things that might be bothering you, um, things that people don't want to talk about. So yeah, um, let's get this into uh, perspective. I don't know how we're going to get this done. Here we go. I'll send Marley an invite. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that, but anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. It is a Friday night for me, and yeah, get into this chat and see how Marley's doing. Hey, my guy. How's it all going? Hopefully, yeah, get some good reception there. <laughs> there we go. G'day, mate. How you going? I'm well, dude. How are you going? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, a bit rainy out where I am today, but it's nice. It's a good bit of rain. Yeah, sweet. Do you want to get straight into this chat? Yeah, sounds good, man. Turn it off a bit. All right, let's get into it. Your name, your Instagram handle, and um, where are you currently currently living? Uh, my name's Marley Weller Anderson, but everyone knows me as Marley Grubby. Um, my Instagram handle is Marley Grubby Two because my first one got deleted for some reason. Um, oh, and no. I'm currently living up in South East Queensland. Yeah, sweet. So, oh, did you say it's raining up there? No way for Queensland. Yeah, mate. It. it Rains a little bit on and off all the time. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, let's get straight into these chats. Um, as you know, and we've been talking about this for a bit now, um, I try and normalise. I know you're trying to normalise mental health chats. So my question to you is, how have you been going, dude? And how's life treating you? I've been doing a lot better in the last few weeks than what I was a few weeks ago, which is nice. Um, yeah. yeah, just been focusing a lot on my TikTok and helping out all my followers on TikTok with all their sort of mental health struggles because it's something that we all go through. And just by me going through mine, I've noticed that I, it, it, I kind of felt like when I was down, all my followers is down as well. So I picked yeah. myself back up and just by doing that, I helped save a lot of people, it sounds like, which is really nice to hear. That's awesome, dude. That's really good to see that you're going out of your way to just, even just to have a quick conversation to the person that may have messaged, messaged you. Um, that's awesome. But, uh, really good to see that you're sort of got yourself out of that rut and you're sort of in a better perspective. Yeah, exactly, man. That's, it's all about trying to get out of that rut and realizing that you've got yourself a problem and 
just being able to keep going, I guess. You can't stop just because something's getting hard. You've got to keep going. Yeah, and, and it seems like you've solved it. And along with that, you've helped a lot of people. Hey, Kat, uh, in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin. This is my cat, Kevin. Hey, Kevin, how are you? <laughs> Hello. He's crawling all around the study room. No, awesome. But that's all. That's that's really cool, dude. I, I like to see this. This is a thing about small content creators as yourself. Um, you're willing to go out of your way to just have a chat to someone, even if it's not a friend. It's someone that may follow you, that may be struggling, or just just need a quick, hey, can you point me in the right direction, kind of thing. I think um, that help right now, and when it comes to us, um, it's it's helpful, helpful for everyone. I think. Exactly, man. Like, I don't even know half the people I talk to all the time, but like, they tell me they've got something going on and I just, the, just for you to sit there and listen to their problems actually just lets them up, offload all that extra stress on their plate. Yeah. And it, it's even easier for them because I'm, I might never meet them or anything like that. So it's not like it's yeah. ever going to come back up. And yeah. it's just, it's always good to be able to help out people, even if you don't know them, just be able yeah. to help them through the stuff that they're going through. It's a good question for you. As you were saying, you're taking a load off them. How does that affect you? Do you feel like you take a bit more stress on um, trying to help them? I know that's nothing you want to sort of push across, but I know it would happen. Is that something that you can sort of help on? I don't know. I don't know yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I do a lot of really good self-care with myself, with my own mental health, um, yes. going to the gym, working on my car, seeing mates as much as I can. Yep. But um, sometimes you get some really sad stories about what's going on in people's lives and you got to sometimes you you can take on their emotions, but you can't. It's you can't keep it in yourself. You got to be yeah. able to release that back out. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, just with good mental health practice and stuff. That's how I try and like not offload it myself, but like yeah. I can maintain it and then still understand what they're going. Well, not understand what they're going through, but understand how hard it must be for them with all the stuff that yeah. they're struggling with. I, I guess you're yeah, what you're trying to get across is you're trying to be helpful. Um, yep. and, and put them in a direction that, that might put them on a better course, um, as we're saying, a, a better rut, as, as for us, we're forward drive content creators. Um, yeah, yeah, put us in a better pathway that um, might, they might not see. Um, so, yeah, that, that's, that's awesome, dude. I, I'm really good to, it's really good to see another person that is willing to go out of their way and, and help someone else that isn't a friend. Like, that's the one thing I want to try and get across as well. I know there's lots of people like right now that I can see who are friends popping up and I haven't had chats with them in a, in a long time. And I think if we're able to text or call and just say, hey, how's it all going? And a quick catch up, it puts their mind going, oh, shit. I, I remember doing some cool things with that person. It was really nice of them to just have a chat. So yeah, exactly. that's where I'm sort of coming across. Um, got a good one for you. What keeps you motivated? As you were saying, you, you said you sort of have yourself in a, a little rut there. What keeps you motivated, dude? It was just the, um, my mates were telling me, hey, we haven't seen you in a while. And a lot of my fans on TikTok were saying, hey, we haven't had any videos from you in a while. And yeah. I was like, yeah, I really got to get back into it. And that's like my own, one of my types of self-care is just being able to create funny videos for all my mates and stuff to watch. Yeah. And just having my cat and my dog and being able to just sit in my car is real nice as well. So it just keeps yeah. me motivated knowing that there's all this stuff. Like if I stop, then all my fans have nothing to do and nothing to watch. So I'm like, I'm going to keep going just for them. Well, you're doing a good job, man. You keep, you keep me bloody entertained. Every time I see something, it's always a laugh. So that's the main thing. As long as you know you're, you're creating something that's to be funny, jokingly, um, keep it up every time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I always thought if it's funny to me, it must be funny to some other people. And apparently 32,000 32, other people found it hilarious. So I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you, you spike real quick, dude. Like, I, I was watching you from the start and I was like, man, this guy, he's cracking on. <laughs> it's good as. Yeah, it went from, I think it was 8,000 followers last November. I had a big video that came out with like 6.5 6. Um, 6. million views. Unfortunately, TikTok took that one down because it was dangerous acts for children to follow. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then it's gone from 8,000 followers last, uh, late last year to... 32,000 now and it's awesome it's incredible never thought yeah. i'd be able to do this sort of stuff on this sort of platform yeah it's crazy it's crazy how quickly just one video can put you in a position that now look at you <laughs> you would never have thought of it hey 
Yeah, exactly. Well, everyone knows me for all different types of videos. It's not like I'm a one-trick pony. I do all my car washing videos, which people love. I do all my kids at car meets videos. Or I've, yeah. I just do a bunch of funny random ones and people love yeah. them. Keep them up, dude. That's the main thing. As long as they're keeping you happy and entertained at the same time, keep at it. Please keep at it. <laughs> exactly. Well, me and my mate are going to go film one again tonight, another car wash video that big one that we've <laughs> yeah. been doing lately. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's, it's a bit like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of TikToks of uh, people uh, washing their cars. Um, yeah. <laughs> here's, a, here's a good one for you. Um, who's your inspiration as a forward drive content creator or just a content creator in general? general um, who do you look inspire, inspired by? Um, I really look up to Sam Young. I really love how he's gone about all of his stuff yeah. and he's really made a, ma made a big name for himself. And obviously yeah. his 80 series is quite nice. I'd love to be able to have something like that. Yeah, but um, I just think I, not just Sam, but I also take just bits of information from everyone, and it's all just like I come home in the morning and um in the afternoon and just watch all these videos and think, oh, that could be me one day on YouTube, um, doing all these paid promotional videos just to be able to do something I love, which is full driving. That's the thing, yeah. Sam is definitely a good good guy to uh, watch or follow. Um, Sam and I try and talk whenever we can. I don't always check in on him because I know he's got some stuff going on and he was moving jobs at that time when we were chatting. And, yeah, he's a fantastic content creator that has sort of come from where he is to where he is now. Like, he's, just, he's stepped up heaps. And yeah, he exactly. is on the same wavelength as us. He wants to try and push across that mental health chat, those, those talks. And he wants to meet and talk to people. doesn't have to be a content creator, just people in general. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. That is sweet. How is the car going? We'll go into some niche questions. <laughs> um, yeah, the car is always up and down with me. Um, it's never failed me, which is nice, but it's. Um, I've recently had to drop it back down to a two-inch lift because police in Queensland are a bit cracky, cracked down on all that sort of stuff. So yeah, yeah. it wasn't four-inch lift in big tyres, and now I've had to drop it back down, yep. um, fix up a bunch of stuff on it. And then re recently, last time I took a full driving, I ripped the whole exhaust out and rear sway bar which wasn't very fun nice <laughs> yeah my mate's welds weren't the best so we're gonna have to we have to go try and find another one and do it all back up yeah well, at least you got someone to blame i guess <laughs> yeah what well, wasn't me it was someone else <laughs> yeah as we sort of touched on the content creating why did you start um a tiktok um which is as you said just for for laughs to be 100% honest, it was um, my ex-partner had a younger sister and she said that if I could get more TikTok followers than her within two weeks, then I forgot what she'd give me $20. <laughs> it's literally started off with that. And then I thought, oh, this is, this is all right. Because I've always, um, when I was younger, I always used to make skateboard videos and BMX yeah. videos and stuff. Yeah. I just love the idea of being able to chuck videos together that you've made and yeah. all the thought process that goes behind them. And yeah. it's just grown from that, I guess. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I was uh, doing the old stalk on your Instagram and I noticed you sort of get into mountain bike riding and then obviously you've had a couple of cars and stuff like that. And it's, it's yeah. so weird um, as we are completely different states in Australia, we have very similar interests. I think that was one thing when it comes to the broads community or forward driving. Most of us have a similar interest, which is, which is sweet. So um, I really hope... Um, when we get to go out uh, for driving, we get to meet these people um, if they uh, want to have a chat. I had someone the other weekend, um, I was out down the snow and there was a guy staring at me and I, was, I sort of waved and he didn't say anything. I was just like, oh, I'll leave it at that. And then he messaged me on TikTok and was like, hey man, I'm pretty sure I saw you. I'm like, dude, why don't you come up? I'm like, that's what we're there about. We want, we want to have a chat, have a conversation, come over and say hello. So that's pretty cool though. That Did you, oh, did you win that $20 I was about to say? <laughs> I just thought I just took it as it was, but um, yeah, um, no, hundred percent. With everyone having the same sort of niche things, like people with full drives usually do mountain bike riding or motorbike riding and stuff like yeah. that as well. Yeah, it's pretty fun to be able to just like you can go anywhere and have like stuff in common with other people that you're around, and it's awesome just to be able to have all these different conversations of different stories and stuff yeah. around the campfire, which is the best. Stories are the best. You're not wrong there. Being able to chat to someone you never met before like this um and being able to have a, a, a decent conversation and and we can just back and forth the whole time it's awesome and campfires right now oh, 
wouldn't mind one. It's freaking freezing down here. Yeah, well, we we went camping a few weeks ago, and I just had to go camping and have a campfire because I haven't had one of those in a long time. So I was like, oh, because up here in Queensland, um, we've got a complete and total fire ban across most of the beaches and stuff. Okay. Because of what happened, to, because of what happened to Fraser a few weeks ago, or yeah, year or two ago. Yeah, yeah. And so they haven't really been able to bring back the fires yet. So we went over to a mate's mate's dad's property and had a big fire. That was pretty cool. Yeah, sweet. Um, down here, no fires. Um, it's that bloody cold. Uh, it's snowing, so everything's so wet, you can't get it going. I've never even seen the snow, so me and some of the mates are hoping to come down either to Victoria and go to the high country next winter, or we're thinking about Cape York, so it's either hot or cold. So, <laughs> Well, either way, let me know, because uh, once I've got my car in order, um, I'm probably doing the same thing. I'm going to do a Tassie trip, and then I'm going to shoot up north, um, and it'd be sweet to meet who I've had yourself on these live chats and who I chat to every now and then. Um, to do some pretty cool meetup, just like the full drive shows. You know how they have the big content creators together. I think it'd be cool to do some something like that. That'd be sick in the future. Yeah, that'd be awesome, man. I'd be super keen to see you guys and have a chat. I'm always I could talk to you bloody ear off the hours, mate. <laughs> like just the most stupid things will just come up and we'll just keep talking. Um, no, I'd love yeah. to meet all my followers. I want to do a big trip around Australia, but just money, all that sort of stuff. But yeah. It is what it is. Travel around as much yeah. as you can, meet as many people as you can, have a good life. Well, that's it. Yeah, if you're if you're still able to just do the the fun things you like doing right now, you don't have to spend that big money right right pretty much like straight away. Um, as long as you're still enjoying it and getting out, and doing whatever you can do, and yeah, meeting followers. That is that's that's the, that's the goal. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I love going to the local full drive meets that we have. Yeah, um, not so much the Bunnings meets as you've probably heard about. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah, right, but um, I'm not too keen on all the skids and stuff. Well, I love skids, but there's a time and a place for them, and yeah. it's not really a Bunnings or a full drive meet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're not wrong yeah. there. There's, there is some people that just take a little bit too far, um, and there is a time and a place. You are right. There is tracks and there's places to go do proper skids, and if you want to do that and you want to show off your car, do it there, please. We don't want to put uh, another mark against our four-wheel drive community style What's going already with the popo? Because um, it's getting pretty ridiculous. And uh, you, you were saying your your car was like sitting there and it still got dicked. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah. So I was over on Fraser Island and the um, police officer followed me on TikTok and oh. found out where I was each day I was at Fraser because I was posting daily videos about what we were doing. Yeah. And the final two days I didn't post a video and he's just gone back to the last place I posted a video, which was at the um, resort. Yeah. And he's found my car on the side of the road and defected it for everything everything you could find. What? Are you serious? Yes. Why? Because um, apparently you can defect a parked or stationary vehicle if it's can, if it's on Queensland roads. And because about this much of my tyre was on the Queensland road, he could book me for it. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's, oh man, that just make, it just pisses me off. Like, I understand we do lift our cars up, we do modify our cars that sometimes is illegal, but we are creating our cars so we are able to drive them. We're spending some pretty decent money on these cars. I don't understand what this uh, this thing is going around at the moment with just dicking cars. Like, I have seen a lot of cars getting done in Fraser and then same in Vic, so where, where I am. Um, I, sometimes I'm scared to drive my car out, and my car is somewhat stock standard except for my lift and my wheels, but yep. just, oh, just... That thing in the back of your mind, you're like, is that a copper? I don't, I don't like that feeling. Even, I'll be driving around the missus car and I'll be like, oh, 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 nah, nah, it's all right. I'm in the missus car, I'm all right. Yeah. But like, I, when I got done by that dude, he was calling me up for weeks on his personal phone saying, oh, how's life with one point and no license and all this other stuff. So, yeah, that's, he had me on his that's... personal, he used my um, Queensland government contacts and he's called me up on his personal phone talking, talking mad smack about it. And now I've got, I'm trying to get a work license so I can even just get to and from work or else I'll lose yeah. my house and all that other stuff. So it's kind of stuffed me around, but yeah. I guess it's... And it, the one that part that annoyed me was the only person on that beach that promotes good, safe, full driving, safe practice and no drinking driving, all that sort of stuff. And he yeah. goes after me compared to the stupid dickheads that I saw the day before doing burnouts up and down the, up and down the beach. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. It's, it's the person that's always doing the right thing. Um, and then because as yourself, you're, you're posting a lot. They just think, they just tie you with that brush. You are a bad influence. We're going to pin you for it. 
that's that sucks, man. That's that's shit. As for talking for about cars, you said uh, I did notice you've had a couple. Um, what have you got? You've obviously got the eighty. What have you had, and what was your favourite? Um, I've had four cars, including the eighty series. Now I've had a D twenty two Navara, um, yes. LM one hundred and six Hilux, and a four J one Colorado. Um, my Probably my favourite car would still be the 80 series. The best yeah. car I ever owned would be the D22 Navara. It might stir some, stir some people up, but the Nissan was pretty good. Yeah. Out of all my cars, that was the one that got me home the most, and it took some bloody abuse when I first started full driving. Didn't know what I was doing, yeah. so just smashing it up everything in yeah. third gear as fast as I could <laughs> to try and get up anything. And it yeah. just caught some abuse, and it just kept going and going. And um, the Hilux that I brought was pretty cool. That was when I... Started getting more into the modified full drives. I bought it with four-inch lift and 35s and yep. a Buick V6 Ecotech swap into it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so plenty of grunt, but my fuel gauge was just going straight down as soon as I was yep. driving to work and back. So, yeah, yeah, that wasn't very fun. And then the Colorado was just absolutely awesome. It was a great great car to have. Awesome on fuel. It was diesel, yep. turbo. But the only thing was um, I did the first service on it in 130,000 Ks. And it was still going. Yeah, it was an old bush, car, old bush pig that he used to have, and then he started using it as a work car. Hell yeah, that's sick. <laughs> yeah, so I recommend any car except for that one. Like, all the 4Js yeah. are awesome. I'd, I'd yeah. probably you, drive one of those any time, but I wouldn't drive that old car that I used to have. Alternator kept blowing up. Um, the wastegate actual, actuator blow up, which made the turbo fail. It was yeah. costing me too much money, so... Fair, and now you got yourself a solid rig there, and that's unfortunate about the uh, the defect. But by the sounds of it, you're getting back into it and getting it uh, in position that you're, I don't know, getting it all ready for to do some more trips. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, well, hopefully when I get my license back fully uh, out of my work license, well, me and the boys are hoping to do like a Fraser trip, yeah, or just go go for a few hours drive and just go have some fun. That's what yeah, we really sweet. want to do. That's what it's all that's, about. That is it. Um, as you said about adventuring, what was your last adventure? And what was your what's your favourite place you've done so far? Um, the last proper trip I went on would have been Fraser. And it's the most amazing place in the world. Um, just going there and the, all the different things you see. It's like um, Lake Mackenzie. It's like a perfect electric blue lake. It's just always crystal clear. You can excuse me, see right down to the bottom of it. Yeah. And the sand's perfectly white. It's incredible. And then you've got Champagne Pools, which is incredible, where, like, the water crashes over the top of it and all the foam washout just looks like champagne when you pop it. That's it's incredible. Sick. You've got Eli Creek, which is always cold because it's a freshwater stream that comes down from the top of the mountain under yeah. cover the whole way until the final, like, 200-meter stretch. Yeah. And oh, Nagala Rocks was incredible. Um just driving that was the most fun ever because I remember doing that when I was when I was younger in my dad's um, Land Cruiser, not Land Cruiser, Land Rover. That was pretty cool. So yeah. just being able to relive that stuff, but in my own car. Yeah, with those those places you just said, is that a, a trip you could do in a week, or is it like a monthly trip? Um, we did ours in two weeks, but my friends yeah. literally just come back from a weekend trip and they did it all in a weekend. But you're you are really pushing to go to everywhere and. Those yeah. few days. So if I was to do it again, I'd probably do it in four days and each day go and explore one of yeah. those places and have a whole day there. Yeah, hell yeah. That's exactly what we're trying to do at the moment. We're trying to, to push our days a bit slower than we would normally um, to be able to take in what we see yep. if we were just driving past really quickly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you don't want to miss something just because you were trying to be in a rush. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, it's all, it's all well and good doing some tracks pretty quickly, but... Um, yeah, you missed some vital things that you probably would never have seen if you if you went a little bit slower. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um, what's your favourite model in the car so far? And is there anything that you would love to do if you had the money? Um, my favourite model in the car so far would have to be my new headlights that I put in. Yeah. Or probably my the full suspension kit that I've got underneath it. I've got a full Superior Hyperflex kit underneath it. Yes. Yeah, I bought it. I bought the car half done with that already on, but then I've done the rest of it, and it's turned out to yep. be almost ten and a half grand of just the suspension. God damn! God damn! Yeah, the rest of the <laughs> rest of the car still looks like dirt, but the, underneath it goes awesome. Fifteen inch remote resi shocks and all that sort of good gear. The Hyperflex kit arms and just yep. the arms alone were I think three and a half grand. I was like, whoa! 
yeah. Yeah, they're, they're super expensive, but they're worth it in the long run, I, I definitely believe. Yeah, as the same, as the same. Right. Yeah, that's right. As the saying goes, it's um, function over form. So the way it performs over the way it looks. That's pretty much my car at the moment. My car looks like absolute crap, but it performs pretty well. <laughs> exactly. Well, um, what I always say is the poor man buys twice, and I've done that multiple times, and I'll, I'll still probably keep doing it, but I'll never learn. But sometimes with... That sort of stuff, you've got to go about that bit extra coin and then you'll get a more high quality product. Yeah, and, and the, the those quality of products that are coming out right now, they're worth us having. Um, from the terrains that we drive, it is pretty harsh on a, a normal standard bog stock four wheel drive or just a two wheel drive car in general if, if you guys are just used to using that. Yeah, yep. definitely right. Um, Paul Man does whatever you fucking said for. <laughs> Paul Man buys, buys twice. That's the, I, tried to get, I was like, I remember it. Eh, nah, nah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a, this is a good conversation, dude. Um, I must say a big thank you for actually joining me today. I didn't think I'd have actually get the chance to have a chat, chat. Um, as it, most of us, or me and you, do know, um, we started talking on the NFT creator page. And my question to you for that one is, how did you get approached for that? Was that something you wanted to join or did you get approached? Um, I was the first person actually that they tried to approach. They thought I was really easy to talk to and they just said, hey, um, we've got this NFT thing going on and we've made yeah. you up awesome NFT. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. And they're like, would you like to be a part of it? I was like, 100% I wouldn't. I wouldn't say no to that. I like their idea of being able to clean up the bush and they're going to be doing a lot of um, charity yeah. work with men's mental health and yeah all that sort of good stuff. So of course I'm going to be supporting that sort of stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The, the beach cleaning stuff, I think is definitely a, a go on. And I'm hoping we can try and drag that kind of stuff down here. It doesn't have to be yep. obviously cleaning the beach. could be just clean the bush. Um, we want to try and keep these places that we go to open for everyone really. Um, yeah. If you can take your rubbish home with you, that'd be awesome. Um, and like a, a bag that you can probably put on the back of your tire, a dirty bag. It's not yep. that expensive. And it's not that hard to take your rubbish with you. So then the next person who comes around doesn't have to clean up after you. Yeah, exactly you right. We, um, yeah. me and my mates always try and do two, um, one, ba uh, one bag of rubbish in, two bags of rubbish out. So if you just see anything around, you just pick yeah. it up, might as well take it home, clean up the rest of the bush. That's not an excuse for other people to leave their stuff there. But yeah, the more you pick up, the less the other person has to pick up. Because then if they see all this rubbish there, then they're just going to dump theirs there as well. It's a vicious cycle, don't you think? Um, they see rubbish, they put they, that just in their mind. They just think it's okay to do it because they did it. You know what I mean? Yes. Why? Why should I get in trouble if this other person's doing it? But like, it's yeah. something that we should all be doing. Not it's like men's mental health. We all should be doing it. Same as cleaning up Australia. We should all be doing it, and there's no excuse. You're not wrong, dude. Um, I think that's a big thing right now. Um, mental health in general, just not just men's mental health, just mental health about just talking. Um, Big thing, uh, coming through, come, come, going through COVID uh, and then coming out of COVID, uh, a lot of people sort of like, they sort of went into their shell and their little bubble. Um, and yeah, there's lots of things going on. I understand most people don't want to talk about it, but uh, it is good to just have a conversation, even if it's like, like this, or it could be just a call, a text, um, a catch up for a coffee. Um, people want to know how you are, even if it's not a friend uh, or yep. if it is a friend, a family member. They, yeah, you should be talking, always talking. Um, yeah, because who knows if you are talking to me and, and I can help you or guide you in the right direction, why not? Why not help you in the right way? Exactly, yeah, mate. The, the thing that's going on now is it used to be, oh, I've got, I want to talk to you guys about my feelings and, oh, shut up, mate. You're a man. Here, have another beer. You'll be right. But yeah. now it's transitioned into everyone wanting to hear what you're, what's going on in your life. But now that person's only ever heard that for so many years. Why would I want to open up now? I'm just going to get shut down again. Yeah, so right. what I've tried to do on my TikToks is tell everyone that it's okay to let out your feelings and talk about that sort of stuff because it's a lot more accepting now and, excuse me, and a lot more people are going to be there to actually be there to support you and help you out through that sort of stuff because yeah. they might not know exactly what you're going through, but they know what it's kind of like to be able to be down in the dumps and not yeah. know what to do. Yeah, that's right. You, you, you nailed it straight there on the head. Um, it's a difficult conversation, but it's a conversation that uh, for myself and yourself, yeah, needs to be had. Yeah, 100%. We're trying to push it across. It is all right. As the, the saying is, it's okay to not be okay. 
um, yep. if you guys are watching or if anyone does rewatch this, um, talk. We as content creators or as small content creators, you're a bit larger than me, but anyway. <laughs> Um, we want to. <laughs> no, we want to chat. It doesn't matter if I'm bigger or not. It, everyone, everyone can talk to anyone. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you can talk to your it. mate with ten thousand followers or two two followers. Everyone yeah. struggles with mental health, and yeah. everyone can help each other with their mental health. Oh yeah, I agree, dude. And um, yeah, that's this is it. This is this is what it's all about. Chatting, really, just it's a hard conversation, but we need to do it. You are right. Um, yep. Here's, here's a fun one for you. Um, do you have any hidden talents? I know you probably have some. And if so, what are they? Um, oh, I can, I can do stupid, um, stupid impressions and stuff like that. That's probably my best ones off the top okay. of my head. Yeah. I can do like Elmo and <laughs> yeah, seen... stuff like that. Everyone, everyone loves those. Yeah. I've seen your Elmo ones on your TikToks. They're so good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's Elmo. Do you want to play a game with me? <laughs> oh, man. So good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just when I was younger, I used to have no friends. So I'd just sit in the corner and talk to myself. And my mum was like, oh, that's a bit weird. <laughs> it's turned out all right now. but <laughs> Yeah, it definitely turned out all right, all right now. When you go into our uh, car meets and you do the elbow voice, it's, it's make us good laugh. The people that don't know what I'm doing, like um, the parents that bring their younger kids to come out and look at the four-wheel drives, they're looking at me like, what's this weirdo doing? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's something that I normally do here. They're like, oh, is he all right in the head? Or <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's it, dude. Um, but the thing is, just like that, with both of us are laughing. It's, it's a funny thing. Um, is it, if you, if, like what you're doing, you're making people laugh and enjoy what's happening around us. Keep it up, man. This is the main thing that you're doing. Bring it across. Happiness, enjoying life, and yeah, enjoying what we actually do. Exactly. If you got no laughter, what do you have? You're not wrong there, dude. One hundred percent. Nothing to look forward to if you don't have laughter or just something to entertain yourself. Yeah, that's right. I am. Um, I did see on your TikTok. Um, if you reach to a certain follower count, you're going to start a YouTube channel. Is that correct? Yeah. If I get to fifty thousand followers, I was. Soaring up to that a few months ago, but then I think I've been shadow banned for some stupid reason on TikTok. Oh, but nice. I think once I get to 50,000 followers, I'm going to be starting to do a lot more. Um, I'm going to transition over to a lot more YouTube as well. But my yep. TikTok videos and my YouTube videos won't be the same style. Okay. The TikTok video is more like funny little skits, but on YouTube, I'd rather do those proper like cinematic sort of shots and yep. more entertaining sort of videos and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. That's, that sounds like a really good idea. Um, is that something you're going to do by yourself or are you going to have someone to help you? Or are you going to have friends come along with you? What's the, what's the go there? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, just whenever I'm going out on a trip or anything like that or just doing something little to my car, like yeah. do a bit of a video montage and show everyone how I'm doing stuff and how everything's going. But I've done yeah. film and editing at school as like a side um, uh, not degree, a side little certificate thing that I did at school and I loved it, so I thought I might, when I get to that, I'll go buy another computer and start doing filming and editing, go buy a GoPro, yeah. buy a drone, do all that sort of stuff. And just film yeah, that videos. Sick. I really wish I was able to film that Fraser trip with all that sort of stuff, but I now know that, excuse me, at the end of the year, I'll be going out and doing it again. So hopefully if I reach 50,000 before that, I'll yeah. definitely be doing um, good YouTube videos with that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, capturing those really crisp... Um, beaches and, and views and obviously four drive tracks in general will be such an awesome thing to do. Um, exactly, man. I'm jealous because it's something I want to do. And um, I'll swap you. You can come do the snow stuff and I'll go up top. Oh, man, I'd love to. I've never even seen the snow. It's just it's something freezing. that amazes me. It's freezing, yeah. <laughs> it's bloody cold, at man. My, at my work, I've got an ice machine and stick my hand into that. I'm like, oh, that's a bit cold. Yeah. So we... <laughs> up here, yeah. Up here, it got to, what was it, like two degrees, and I was like, oh, bloody hell, it's cold. Imagine if I'm down there in the snow where it's like negative three. Well, that was the thing. So uh, we went away two weekends ago. It wasn't even snow. It was minus six. Um, oh, wow. It was cold. Yeah. So uh, where we stayed, it was in a spot that was sort of on a hill. Um, I mean, it was sort of uh, in, within the tree line, so I was hoping we wouldn't get snow. Uh, but, yeah, still minus, it dropped to minus six. But um, we're doing a trip in, uh, I think, three weeks' time. And the aim and the plan is to camp in the snow. So 
If you hear someone died or three guys died in the snow because they got hypothermia, <laughs> you'll know who it is. <laughs> Make sure you take lots of blankets and jumpers and stuff. You'd be snuggling up real tight. And yeah. that's, that's what I'd be taking, just a couple of blankets, all that sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah, well, the thing is, I actually bought a Kmart 12 volt uh, electric blanket. <laughs> well, there you go. That's a good idea. Yeah, so. Uh, sure that. Yeah, plugging that in uh, before I go to bed, and uh, hopefully that can keep me warm throughout the night. Yeah, definitely. You don't want to get cold because then you get sick, and you don't want to be sick in full driving. Oh, nah. Not when you're in the middle of nowhere, you can't, no reception. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, you'd be silly and forget to bring Panadol or something like that, and you get a throbbing headache as <laughs> you're trying to drive over all these bumps and ridges. Oh, yeah, just a uh, bit like a milkshake Ugh, everywhere. Oh. <laughs> oh. Shit. But I must say, thanks thanks again, dude. I really appreciate um, you coming on board and actually just having a chat with me. Um, I, th I thought I would never actually be able to get the chance to have a chat to you. So I appreciate your time for tonight. No, it's awesome, man. I, I love chatting to you guys and just just this sort of conversation stuff that we have, it's, it's really good. And I love talking to people about men's mental health and all the yeah. stuff that I'm passionate about, like exactly like how you are. Well, look, I, I hope we are showing, showcasing that we are really passionate in what we do and, and we are trying to push across those little things that we think need to be changed in our community of forward driving, not just forward driving, content creating. Um, and hopefully the future, it, yeah, we can sort of change that pathway for everyone to see. 100%. Just be, a, um, be the idols that the kids that are watching us want us to be. Yeah. That's it, dude. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for. And I, I, I know you're hoping for the same thing. But if you can believe, half an hour is already gone. And it um, oh. goes quick. <laughs> Pedro, I could talk your ear off for an hour. <laughs> Mate, I appreciate it. Like, I, I love a good story. Any story is a good story, I say. But um, yep. if you ever do come down my way and you're doing a trip down Vic or where, wherever, um, Inbox me, come come, and I'll, I'll show you some cool places that are down here because that's what we're trying to do, showcase what Vic has to offer. And, um, yeah, who knows what can happen. Yeah, 100%, man. I, I'm so keen to, like, it's crazy how keen I am to go down to Victoria and just explore this amazing country we've got. As they say, um, if you do see some of the views that I've been posting up, God's country, man, it's so peaceful. Turn the car off. We just, one, my friend and I, we just sat there for nearly half an hour just looking out and we could see a rainbow. It was raining over one side. Then the next hill, oh, it was wow. snowing. Yeah, it was sick. We just sat there. You're getting me too excited. I want to go now. Yeah, it's good, man. Uh, when you get a good day and uh, a good, good bit of weather, perfect. Yeah, definitely God's country. 100%, man. It's awesome up here as well. Like the sunsets you get over here across the beaches yeah. and stuff. It's, it's just nothing like it. I think that's the thing. We have such a diverse country. Um, there's so many little things that we're always going to miss if we didn't know, like this, social media can show us where it is. Yeah. 100%. There you go. There's someone for you. I don't know if you can see those comments coming through. So you're helping people, dude. Yeah, it's exactly what I mean. Like, just the people that I, people that I would have never met if I didn't use TikTok. Yep. It's just, I've done so much, not that, not that I've done so much, but like I've just helped them out with those like few laughs that they needed to just get them through the day. That's all you need, I guess. Yeah, Makes me exactly. know that what I'm doing is good. You are, man. That's the thing. You are doing something good and I, I, I applaud you and keep it up. Because um, for one, if you're making me laugh, you're 100% making other people laugh. So yeah, yeah. keep it up, dude. Yeah, I, appreciate, I appreciate it. Laughter makes the world go around, mate. It does. Uh, a bit of positivity and laughter is so good. goes a long way. Exactly. All right, dude. I'm going to leave it at this one. Uh, I must say, uh, again, I appreciate your time and thank you for joining me tonight. Um, yeah, we had an awesome conversation and thank you again for just being you. I appreciate it. No, that's awesome, man. It was awesome to chat to you. I'll have to stay in contact and we'll... Next time we come up, when we finally do get to come down to Victoria, I'll have to come hit you up and we'll go do some tracks. Yeah, dude, 100%. I'll, I'll, I'll be doing exactly the same thing. If I'm coming up, I'll be uh, calling you straight away. I'm like, where are we going? Let's go. Yeah, mate. There will be a cold, cold case of Great Northerns ready for us and we'll be on our way. Perfect. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. All right, dude. I'll leave you to it. Enjoy the rest of your evening and have a good weekend, all right? You too, man. Have an awesome weekend and see you guys.